Hello everybody, Adam here, and watch as I'm able to speak a language perfectly fluently that I've never even learned before. Bonjour à tous, Adam ici. Et regardez comme je suis capable de parler une langue parfaitement couramment, que je n'ai même jamais apprise auparavant. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? 是的,挺疯狂的,不是吗? So what you just saw is real-time speech-to-speech translation. Taking what I'm speaking as I'm speaking it, transcribing it down, taking what I just said, translating it into a completely different language, and then generating my own voice speaking what I said in a different language, all happening at once in real time. As a high-level overview, I'm basically stringing together three different services all at once. I'm using OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo as my translation service, I'm using Eleven Labs for both voice cloning and then voice synthesis and voice generation. And then I'm using Assembly AI for their speech-to-text streaming services. To start with the first part of this actual flow, Assembly AI has made it really easy to do speech-to-text streaming within their platform. They basically have it all optimized using their API and using their backend models for this. And essentially, all of this code is pretty much available in their documentation right here with further information that I'll link down below. But essentially, you're able to sort of take this transcriber object, and then this is actually the extra stuff that I'll go into later of how I do the translation and the dub generation. But taking this transcription object, you can use that, open up a connection to your microphone, and then as you can see, it'll take down exactly what you're saying in real time and then has some sort of operators for actually when you break, it will return sort of strings of text in real time. So as you can see right here, it's doing that as I'm speaking. And you can tweak a lot of the variables. I've kept it pretty much um, standard with what they had in the documentation, but you can tweak sort of the different breaks and breakpoints for how it'll actually format, how it'll actually do the new lines and whatnot when you're speaking. So. As you can see, pretty decent, however, for getting this text-to-speech streaming working. The part of the documenting code, then, which is the most useful for actually setting up a whole flow like this, is this def on data function that's being called consistently sort of as a new transcript is being received. And right here in this if is instance, it checks if the transcript is the quote-unquote real-time final transcript. So when you set these breakpoints for when you're speaking, it will return sort of this full string of text and format it correctly, adding in punctuation, things like that, all in real time. And then that full sentence or full sort of string of text that you've spoken is then returned as this real time final transcript. And then what they're doing down here is they're just printing it and then doing a new line. The comparison to this is the actual streaming. So when you saw prior when I was talking and all of the letters were coming up and the words were showing up, that's what's happening here. So all of that is just being put with spaces in between there onto the screen. But once it's actually formatted and into sort of one full chunk, it is returned formatted as this real-time final transcript. And so then we can go in here and actually do some fun stuff with that fully formatted, nice chunk of text that they give us. And so to do that, I've put this translate function here. And this function, if we scroll up, is essentially a quick LangChain chain that calls the OpenAI API with this prompt, translate the following sentence into language, return only the translation, nothing else. And then here's the sentence. So using just a string output parser and then the recent GPT-4 Turbo April 9th release, and then formatting this prompt a little bit with the chat prompt template, we shove it into a chain and then make this quick function here called translate. It takes in the sentence in a language, which currently I have just strictly defined to French, inputs that into this template. So it'll say translate the following sentence into, and it looks at this French, and then here's the sentence. And then this sentence here, if we go back down here, what we're passing in is this transcript.txt. So that final formatted real-time final transcript text is what's going to be placed in there. So let's see what just the translation looks like in action. So here's an example of putting it together and just having the translation into French happen.
Perfect. So as you can see, my voice is being transcribed, and then you'll see it sort of pop a little bit into a more formatted thing, which is the final object, and then that is what's passed to GPT-4 Turbo and translated. Phenomenal. So as you can see, there's a little bit of the formatting issues here, and that's sort of just a byproduct of the sort of real-time streaming from Assembly AI. That can be mitigated a little bit with actually the prompting in your, um, in your GPT-4 Turbo prompt, but I decided to just keep it bare bones and simple for this simple demonstration. The third and final part is, of course, then cloning my voice to create something that I can actually speak this with and then generating the spoken text. So I'm actually using 11 labs to do both of these things, both the voice cloning and the voice synthesis. They're sort of the best in class currently. And so hopping over to their platform, you have to be a paid subscriber to actually do any voice cloning, but they make it super easy. You just go over to this voices sidebar, click on add generative or cloned voice. You can do instant voice cloning, which all you need is sort of one speaker over one minute of audio and it, having it be sort of clean audio. So I uploaded about 10 minutes of me speaking and that's how I was able to create this model here that I just put Adam L as my own voice. And then this I could use right away here. So if I just say, you know, hello, how are you doing? Let's generate that. Hello, how are you? Wow, I sound very excited at that. But as you can see, it's my own voice, and then now I can generate text of my own voice speaking. And so to actually do this, 11 Labs has a wonderful Python integration and API that you can actually use. All of this is here, which I'll of course link down in the description below. And then hopping back into here, what you can see is I imported you know, all of their stuff, and then you have to create a client object. So it's just 11 Labs, and then I created this super simple gen dub function. So it takes in the text, which similar to sort of the translation, we'll be passing in this transcript.txt from the real time final transcript. I have it print generating audio just so I know what it's doing. And then I create a quick audio object using client.generate. You specify the text, which in this case will be the text that's passed into. You specify the voice ID, which you can grab from sort of 11 Labs platform which is right here, took a second to find it. And then you put that in there and then you specify the model that you want to use, which their most recent one is 11 multilingual V2. They then have a play function that you can import. So then I just have it play the audio. And so moving back down here, after I have the translation, I take that translation and then I shove the translation into the gen dub function. So what it'll do now is finally, as I'm speaking, it will generate these real time final transcripts as there's a break in my voice. It will then pass that transcript text through to the OpenAI service with my translate function. And then once that translation is generated, it will call the gen dub function to actually generate the audio and then play the audio of my translated text. Putting it all together then creates this seamless experience of actually transcribing, translating, and speaking all in real time with minimal latency. Hey, Marni team, one try said that you do one mail a wally pair per mori pair per much from pace of the Aki of a tray, Kurain the Tama the Turan, Nijan Eratil Sayum Tadayatra and Bova Te Uruaki Hirade. So really, not a lot of this is super complicated. Most of it's handled in the back end of things like assembly and 11 Labs APIs. <laughs> but I wasn't able to find sort of one consumer ready platform to do something like this, speech to speech translation to a different language in your own voice in real time. So really hope you all liked and enjoyed this video and ご視聴いただきありがとうございます。このような動画をもっと見たい場合は登録してください。Thank you all.